Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another Minecraft video and in this one we're going to be doing something that I absolutely love. Today we're going to be taking a look at some TNT cannons. Now recently I was trying to come up with ideas of ways that you could take on bases a little bit like this one. As you can see, we have got a base that is completely surrounded by water, which means that in theory, it is impenetrable to TNT cannons. Obviously if TNT lands on top of this thing, it will just explode in the water and it won't do any damage to the building itself. But recently, concrete was added into the game, and I thought that could be useful for taking out things like this. So this is the first design that I came up with. Now the theory was that you place in a piece of concrete up at the top, you hit the button, and it fires both the TNT and the concrete off into the distance. The concrete gets turned into actual concrete as opposed to concrete powder, and the TNT would land on top, blowing up the building, but as you just saw right there, unfortunately that doesn't quite work. The concrete lands after the TNT, which means that the TNT is in the water when the concrete lands, so it doesn't really change anything. Not the best, so I headed back to the drawing board. Design number two was just a tiny bit bigger, but also just a tiny bit better. Instead of launching the TNT and also the concrete at the same time, this one launches the concrete over on top of the water, and then it launches the TNT afterwards, meaning it lands on top, hopefully blowing up our build. So if we place in the concrete, you can see that that will be launched off into the distance, and then the TNT comes along, flies across, lands on top, and does absolutely no damage to the build at all. If anything, <laughs> it places the concrete and then explodes the concrete it just placed. Now I have to say, I am a tiny bit confused as to why it did absolutely no damage to the build. I could have sworn it was going to be better than that. I just thought I'd take you guys into the redstone testing world to give this thing another go because I could have sworn that the original design did a lot better than that one just then. See? We've destroyed our whole dirt hut. Either way, I definitely feel like more redstone and more TNT is necessary. This thing's still a bit of a baby. Now this, my friends, this is a TNT cannon. We have got four TNT that are going to be fired after this is shot over onto our dirt hut over here. So we hit the button and that has fired everything. All of the TNT has been shot over. Yes! <laughs> Wow! The whole dirt hut is gone! <laughs> that is perfect! I mean, seriously, it doesn't get any better than that. That is awesome to watch. <laughs> Do I want to add more TNT though? That is the question. Is there anywhere that I can add more TNT? You know what? I, I think I have just come up with something. TNT quantities have been increased by 50%. We are now going to be shooting six pieces of TNT over to the new and improved target, which is this stone cube right here. Now this is going to be a bit of a challenge because obviously dirt is easy to explode, whereas stone, stone is a tiny bit different. So let's see, we're going to load up our powdered concrete right there. Shoot that over, then shoot over the TNT. Everything's landed. Not bad. Not bad at all. But as you can probably tell, this is the very early days of a concept. I mean, although it is pretty cool that we managed to destroy that stone base right there, not exactly groundbreaking, is it? I mean, these are complicated redstone contraptions to do that quantity of damage, which sort of brings me on to my next point, which is the fact that I think you guys could go further than this. As you can see, I have built a whole bunch of different redstone contraptions. Some of them worked better than others. And I feel like I have got a decent basis of a concept now, but that concept can definitely be improved. So I want you guys to create awesome TNT cannons that involve that concrete launching mechanism that allows you to take on bases like this one because I mean look we've got a very simple little dirt base right there and all we have to do is shoot over some TNT and we can destroy it. It's an awesome idea but plenty of improvements to be had. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this little redstone video. If you did please hit that like button and if you really loved it then make sure to subscribe but thanks for watching guys. This has been Mumbo and I'm out. I'll see you later.